were to attend a Rotary Club meeting anywhere in the country, we always start out with the Pledge of Allegiance and an invocation. Now, the invocation can take the form of a prayer. Most often, it's in the form of a short motivational or inspirational story. So, this morning, my invocation is a little bit of both. So, how many of you have ever heard of the Serenity Prayer? If you, this is a prayer most often associated with Alcoholics Anonymous, and it goes like this. Take, take a look at those that raise their hand. It goes like this. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. The middle line of this prayer speaks to a power that you all have to truly change your destiny. This is what distinguishes us from the animals. It's free will. The incredible power of choice. Now you may not be able to control all of the events and the circumstances that happen in your life, but you can control how you respond to those events and circumstances. You can't choose what happens to you, but you can choose what happens in you. William Jennings Bryan said that destiny is not a matter of chance, it is a matter of choice. Okay, now this is important. If you don't remember anything else that I say this morning, remember this. Destiny is not a matter of chance, it is a matter of choice. It is not something to be waited for. It is something to be achieved. Every choice you make has a consequence. And every consequence is just one strand in the fabric of your life. And if you make wrong choices today, you are at the same time choosing to suffer the consequences of, the, of those choices at some point in the future. A famous theologian once said that he who chooses the beginning of the road also chooses the place that it leads to. Now, not every choice is a major moral choice or a life-changing choice. Sometimes it's just the difference between choosing between being smart being stupid. <laughs> now, for example, if you're a non-smoker and somebody offers you a cigarette, don't take it. That would be stupid. <laughs> but there, there are some choices that are important, that are significant. Now, if you don't remember anything else that I say this morning, remember this. I know, I know, I've already said that. <laughs> This time, I, I really, really mean it. With your parents, with your family, with your friends, with your clients, with your colleagues, always, always choose integrity. Trust is one of those rare things that once you lose it, it is so very difficult to ever regain. And you know this is true. If you've ever had a friend that has lied to you, how easy is it for you to ever trust that friend again? If someone gives you a reason to question their integrity, you can forgive them, you can even love them, but it is so painfully difficult to ever trust them again. That old genie of distrust does not want to go back in that bottle. So on this vocational day, as you think about your future vocation, your future profession, remember this. You know how difficult and how damaging a lack of integrity is to your personal relationships. 
It is deadly to your professional relationships. So I want to end this with a poem that I've used many times, and our Rotarian friends will, uh, will know this. It's from a Robert Frost poem, The Road Not Taken, and the last stanza goes like this. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I chose the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, John. Wonderful invocation.